$1.95. Call now and save an additional 10%. Call now and save an additional 10%. Closed captioning hours provided by Reno, the only supplement for joint care and energy. Introducing Renew It, the only intensive release supplement for joint care and energy. Renew It. San Francisco. San Francisco ganti pesawat. Ditanya macam-macam sama imigrasi. Terus ke Houston, Texas. Telepon hotel minta dijemput. Boston jemput Akhirnya naik taksi ke sini ke hotel Berapa 68 dolar US dollar Kalau di rupiah 10 ribu 680 ribu naik taksi Buset dari airport ke hotel Enakan di Jakarta Mercedes. Quicker because it doesn't go four or five walls and no 
no time to stand them and stack them. And then come back in and just start standing body. At one time, last year, as busy as they were, they, uh, So that's about the only difference. So this one is blue tack. But again, like I said, if you guys look, you can see where the PTO is coming off the bottom of the transmission. Turning the bottom of the bottom. Mercedes makes it real nice as far as building a truck because there's so many holes in them. Yeah, they never say never. Yeah. some residual heat coming back from the engine. So what we did on these, so I said I built four of these before we went to China, and we, we, had a, we didn't have any trouble with the heat for the hydraulic. So we started back and we passed. That's on the downhole ones. The downholes, the skids, I don't know how they do the skids at NL. A lot of them have got, when I've seen a lot of their drum packages come in, I actually see where where our brake bands come together, it's just a joint. We run a pin through them. A lot of theirs, I've seen where they come together, they've actually got a, a bolt. And I think on a lot of those, that's where like you would adjust their brake band. By adjusting that bolt, you're going to tighten them or loosen them. I like this idea. I think it's one less thing to do wrong. I like this idea. The self adjustment. Yeah, it's full on and full on. I think that's the key thing. We, we have seen through the years to where, I, I mean, I've seen them all through the years, the different Atlas designs where we used to use turnbuckles. Turnbuckles get fatigued and break. And then no, most of the time, turnbuckles then or brakes were usually hooked to some type of an equalizer bar. So as soon as you lost that one turnbuckle and you broke that one, everything drops off and then you lose this brake too. So here by these operating independent, if I look your speed select for your generator set. Frequency panel, all your generator control panels, start, stop. Again, your double A, engine perimeters, uh, brake override, brake on and off. Again, this one's set up for the large Hoistman's panel, the heater, and the new cover. Uh, cut the slots of this cover are for your chair. You take one of your one of your roll around chairs, you take two of the wheels and slide them in there and then you can put the cord around your other chairs to keep them from rolling around the compartment. So that's why we did that combination, kind of a little footrest and a place to hold a chair. Uh, the guys haven't got the light cover back up on here yet. It's behind, it's here in the racks. goes into there. So what happens is if you your controller if you start soaking you actually get oil in and this the service pool moves over and then by moving over you can see your swash actually moving from left to right you see that is now the pump yeah that's the way it does that now on your controller yeah yeah you can just move it up and down like that yeah Yeah, because that gives you A and B. It's all yeah. nine. Yeah. yeah. And what they found is with, where you guys try to do logging at slower speeds by adding two more pistons in it, you get a little bit more stable, right? Stable, Peter? yes, yes. You got a more, uh, like I say, uh, they say it works better if you've got a nine piston motor and a nine piston pump. 
and it equals it out. That's why they've actually, because they nine go with nine, it works much nicer, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why they've done it that way. The controller, this is the one that we set for start of regulation. Okay, this has still got a plastic cap on here and all that, yeah. But that's the one there that actually goes down onto a little spring cone that they've actually see. And then this is the one that moves the swash. Let's see. There, there you would be max. Uh, max stroke. So what happens is if your rotor group would be like that, this would all be there. You go that way to minimum because you will get your oil through the bottom and it will come up. And then this would just move. So your block, this is it there. Yeah. So you would be there, max there, and you would just come into minimum there. Which you never go into full minimum because then it won't work. Yeah. Can you get these motors without the uh, electronic control, <coughs> like to replace, like some of our older trucks that go out to seven, and not, can you use the, well you said that should be combined both a nine piston pump and yeah. a nine piston yeah, motor, uh -huh, uh -huh. and you said, but you could use a nine piston with a nine or yeah. seven piston pump. Yeah, yeah you can, but, yeah. But can you get them without the electronic control, because our older ones don't have Yeah, that. you got the HD. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, you can, yeah. You see, on, on the, uh, um, uh, on the tag, it's, it's just the, it's the same motor, but it's just the control that's different. <coughs> okay, you see. No, you can, yeah, because then, because this, the, like, for example, this is the uh, A6 VM EP, yours would be uh, A6 VM HD. Yeah, like that. Now you get, yeah, everything is, uh, let's say, that and there is all the same. The only thing difference is there. That's right. the only difference is, okay. yeah. You like could actually also, theoretically, uh, or not practically as well. You can take that out. You take this the spring uh, stack and then out and change it to a HD or EP1 or EP2. Yeah, that's okay. what you can do. Yes, and then the, the whole the rest of the works will all be the same. Right. Okay. Yeah, the same as on the controller on, on the pump as well. Yeah. yeah. You see, as I said to you earlier on, remember you're talking about your old quills. Yeah. This uh, you take that out there. You see, your old solenoid will actually bolt onto that. Right. Yeah. You see. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if you uh, have your old solenoid, or what you get this, you need to have this little plate. Yeah. Then you can go to the new. Because some of the, uh, the older solenoids we even have are kind of this shape, the round mm -hmm. ones, and then they went to uh, kind of a square type. Yes, that's right. right. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. another square type that were even longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of yeah, but I know, I don't recall what the switch, but I think the newer, the, the longer ones are the universal type that have been on the one. That's right, yeah. Mm. But you see why they've gone this way as well is because this coil, you can actually yeah. just, it's easier to replace. Yeah. Uh, a and B's at our first. Okay, you've got it off stroke now, yeah? No, no, right now it's center, but... Okay, just, just take it off and just go through it. Get it off center. Yeah, get it off center, and then. Uh, well, we can just loosen it. Yeah, yeah. Customs, person with an attitude. Uh, yeah, and then said Yeah, they know how to they make you. They know how to make your life miserable. I, I kind of complain, I, it's a lawsuit. We got all the money coming. Mm. Yeah. 
she was really nice. Like she was asking questions, but uh -huh. stayed on top. Well, like I said, I've been in all of the places that I've been to customers. Like I said, the only time I ever have any trouble going anywhere is going into Canada. Just, you know, they, I always end up in customs when I go into Canada. You know? Canada is so afraid that you're going to come in and take work away from their people. You know, or something. That if you're coming in to work in Canada, you basically have to have a skill or a trade that isn't available there in the country. Just about. To get, a business, to get a work visa, to get in there and work. Now, I ended up, you know, you get a business visa now to get in. Last time I went in, I just went in like the basic pizza, you know, and I had some drawings. And I knew they were going to stop me, you know, they always do. So when they pulled me into immigrations, they wanted to know what I was doing. And I told them I'm headed up to Atlas Base in Grand Prairie. Because uh, they were complaining about some work the company that I, that I represent did for them. So I'm going up there for an inspection and make sure that it's right and that they're, you know, that they're happy with it. So I had to show them where I was going. I had to give them, uh, show them my business card, you know, and, you know my, that my ticket was actually all the way through to Grand Prairie. And after about an hour, you know, and looking at my drawings, and it's like Kuwaiti oil. <laughs> and when we got to customs there at the border, it's like his cousin was on duty that day. So while all these other guys are sitting there waiting to go through customs, we're sitting in there drinking tea with all of the border agents. With his cousin and all the border guards. Yeah, like I said, we're a, almost like a diverse city, you know. You can find any and every nationality here, you know. For the most part, people are nice here. You know, they're helpful. Police escort, huh?